I'm John Briggs Foster and this is my wife Joe. And this is our 1991 Toyota Land Cruiser U. We, uh, we bought this truck about a year ago. Um, we bought it as a rolling chassis. It had, it was missing everything except axles um, and body obviously. Um, we literally had to bring a trailer. Literally had to bring a trailer. <laughs> uh, so right in the front, this is the original factory option ARB bumper or dealer option rather. It has the original dealer option horn winch. Um, in good shape there. It's got brand new daylighter, KC daylighter fog lights. Uh, the winch cable is new as well as the fair leads. Um, all the lights and everything work. Uh, as you can see, got a nice little touch here. We threw a Brig 6.0 because as you notice, this does not have a diesel anymore. Um, or as you will notice, this does not have a diesel anymore. It is the six liter uh, LQ4 LS engine um, from Chevrolet. Parts availability is amazing on it. Um, we have a Safari Land snorkel under the hood. It is gonna be a custom snorkel box that links to the intake. It's all three and a half inch piping under there. Um, it has Bilstein shocks and ARB four inch lift lift springs. It's got an ARB steering dampener. Working on an onboard compressor, all that is switched right on the dash. Um, over here, this is a really nice feature because it's right hand drive in parking lots and little low speed stuff, or even if you're sitting at a light and you're waiting to turn left, um, a nice little feature I threw in there is a, a front view camera on the left side, which you can access on the dash. All you do is hit front left camera and it can just stay on even with your Bluetooth music on and everything. Um, coming to the side, we did a frame off, total frame off restoration on this truck. Um, we completely undercoated the body. Uh, the whole, because this is a top off model and windshield fold down, my painter hated me because <laughs> we did it in every single piece, took every single piece apart. Every single jam is hit, um, fully clear coated all the way around, uh, colored and cleared. Uh, all new gaskets. We, I got brand new Toyota gaskets from Australia actually, it took forever to get. Um, for here, the doors, the windows, the top, everything. Um, and I've got the nice, <laughs> nice tight close there with the uh, new gaskets. Um, going backwards, it's got a nice little toolbox. Um, running boards have a nice little texture to them, help especially my pregnant wife jump up in there. Um, on the bed, this is my favorite part. I used to own a furniture company in Atlanta and I would often buy trucks without beds on them. This truck came to me with a caged bed. It was actually a film truck for a uh, certain dinosaur movie that I'm not exactly allowed to mention, but this truck was imported by a production company for use in a 2016 production. You can do the math there. Um, and it had a cage and it had a full animatronic goat in the back of it actually when I bought this truck. Um, along, as well as a speaker and a bat, the head moved and everything. It was hilarious. Um, I think the previous owner kept that, unfortunately. Uh, but going to the bed, we did a white oak bed. This was something that I, I kind of made my signature um, with my old business. Uh, this is epoxied. It was stained, then epoxied, then cut down again, and then automotive clear coat on top of it. Um, which is a House of Colors actually product um, that goes and this was all done with the wood out of the bed So every single seam, I mean this is as sealed as you can get it um, As well as you can whenever it gets a little scratches. It's a supremely durable finish uh, Whenever it gets any scratches or anything, it's just like the paint on your car. You can buff it out um, Coming to the back We have LED lights uh, all of them work and function um, I'm gonna hit these right here and do this for you. Um, when you throw it in reverse, the reverse lights come on and the camera kicks on as well automatically. Um, let me show that real quick. 
And so with that, uh, I, the, oh, it's not, it's gotta be on for that. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> uh, key on, ignition on. All right, so uh, that is obviously the, the bright white LEDs in the back. Going up here, we have a full-size spare tire, um, complete with the BFG that is mounted right behind the driver. It provides zero, um, provides perfect um, field of view around. It doesn't block your vision at all. It's right behind the driver. Um, it is mounted super securely up there. Um, going down here, we have brand new BFG tires. They're 33s. Um, they are, they might have 100 miles on them. Uh, going uh, to the front. I, I think that's it. All the chrome and everything is original. All of the door locks are original. Gas cap is all original. Um, obviously the bed is new. Uh, all stainless steel hardware on the bed. Um, coming inside, you can see again, our all our gaps are just completely painted. Um, completely finished and everything. The door panels are original. Um, the only thing we did was add a speaker. Zero sheet metal was cut to put these in. I made a little bracket that actually uh, bolted into pre-existing holes in the metal. Um, and then this just mounts right to that. So zero modifications to the actual body of this truck. Um, it is all original. Uh, same with the body harness itself. Um, the body harness is uh, fully original. Um, inside we have LED lighting in the dash. Uh, all the lights and dash work and everything. Um, ARB compressor kicks on. Oh, again, key on. There's that. All the gauges work. Um, we have a functioning check engine light over here that didn't exist because it was a diesel. Uh, so this does it work um, when it's on. Obviously it's just on right now for the lights uh, and it's not running. You can see on here the automatic camera and then when you come out of reverse, it goes right back to the Apple CarPlay screen or however you have it set up. Right now it's on Bluetooth setup. Um, quick home. Uh, and I can show you the front camera. There's your front camera. All you hit is camera on there and that'll automatically pull up your front camera. Uh, this truck has working air conditioning and heat. The air conditioning is set up to mimic a factory Chevrolet setup. So it is all con commanded by the PCM. When you turn the AC switch on right here, it sends a 12 volt signal to the PCM, which uh, allows for the engine to rev up uh, to compensate for the load from the air conditioning compressor, as well as the fan kicks on for the compressor, uh, or for the condenser rather. Um, inside, we have a leather headliner, which is just absolutely gorgeous, makes this thing smell like a Tandy leather outlet. <laughs> um, the seats are Corbo uh, Baja RS seats. I really liked them. I wanted to pick something that had high bolsters and would fit in here really well. Um, more leather on the dash. Yep, and more leather on the dash. Right here, the dash pad uh, is an original dash pad that was coated in leather, was covered in leather. Um, the e-brake boot is also stitched in leather. If you look straight down, yeah. Um, got my detailer in there. Um, the boots are new with the transmission, so the it has uh, functioning obviously inner boots and outer boots here. Um, the four-wheel drive light even works. I just clicked it down into four-wheel drive. So there's your four-wheel drive. Um, four-wheel drive low and everything. It clicks into gear supremely easily. Um, Tell us about the transmission. So the transmission uh, was purchased from a another cruiser guy in Los Angeles. This transmission has 10,000 miles on it. Um, it was on a build uh, that the guy crashed in downtown LA. And so he pulled it out after 10,000 miles, unfortunately. Um, his kind of little, little, uh, what transmission is it? It is a H 55 F. It is the original transmission for this truck. Um, it provides a really great low first gear and then a great highway gear behind this motor for cruising at speed. Um, it's got a dual range transfer case. That's original as well to the, uh, to this truck. The drive shafts themselves are, custom Tom Woods drive shafts uh, from Utah. 
Um, it is mated, the engine is mated to that transmission through an advanced adapters um, kit with a uh, McLeod flywheel and a brand new clutch. Everything's new, um, drivetrain wise. Uh, yeah, you wanna, wanna show, us the hood? show us under the hood? Yeah, yeah. let's do it. Oh, baby, can you hit the lights, please? So, under the hood, um, we have a 6-liter LS. Um, I have the exact compression numbers that were pulled. Uh, they're all between 165 and 175. It's like a brand new motor. Um, I think I, I was told it had 76,000 miles on it. Um, we have gone ahead and got put every single gasket is new. Uh, sands the head gaskets. We didn't pull the heads, uh, but everything else is new. It's got um, ARB compressor built in, some shorty headers, MSD ignition wires, um, brand new water pump, all accessories, new AC compressor down there, um, an electric fan. Um, we have the copper stainless brake lines and clutch lines that are all new as well. Um, right here we have the uh, snorkel box built by Lucius AF in, in Las Vegas. Uh, he did um, this as well as the AC lines and a bunch of other work um, was done in that shop. All of the frame off stuff was done over there. We have the um, electric fan that comes on automatically and comes off at speed. It's all controlled by the PCM. Uh, it comes on automatically when you hit the AC, obviously I already mentioned. The intake itself was smoothed um, to give it a clean appearance uh, and to give it more clearance under the hood. It fits really nicely under here. Everything can be accessed and worked on uh, really easily. This, this is a, a great little combination um, and a great little fit for this truck. Um, here. Yeah, so original uh, VIN badge here and made in, made in Japan. On the other side is the uh, emission sticker from Australia. Um, when I bought this truck, I did not receive uh, import paperwork. I did have a clear title from the owner um, in Arizona that I purchased it from. Uh, then now it has a clean Nevada title in my name um, and it is registered as a classic vehicle in Nevada. It does not need emissions for that reason here. Um, if the truck needs emissions for where the buyer is going, that is something we can easily add. Um, so don't let that uh, hold you up. All the AC lines are run really neatly. The AC dryer is right here, right behind the uh, post in the front. All really neatly done. PCM sits on the firewall here. Um, all the wiring is uh, factory GM wiring. And that is just the only things that had to be spliced in to the body harness was key on and things like that. Um, it has all the original Toyota sensors on it. So oil pressure, um, temperature gauge, etc. And being that it, it is uh, the original Toyota gauge, um, it, uh, yeah, it all, it all just reads really neatly in there. Um, you can read through the, uh, the dash monitor or that's right. Original. And so on your phone, or, um, if you had an OBD reader, the, the truck has OBD built into the glove box. Um, and so I've got a Bluetooth dongle in there along with my winch cable in here. If you here, so um, a Bluetooth OBD dongle right here, um, winch cable and things in there. Um, that comes through your yep. cluster as well. Uh, it does not, so it does not, yeah. Okay. Um, it'll go through your phone. Uh, you can easily hook up, take this out, and your OBD gotcha. Bluetooth is right there, or your OBD uh, port is right there in the dash. Um, as far as the interior, it has WeatherTech floor mats as well. Um, working blower motor, obviously, clock, everything works. The dimmer switch is original and works. Um, ashtray has all that. You want to start it for us? Yeah, let's do it.
engine purse like a kitten. Um, the exhaust actually is, is supremely quiet, ridiculously quiet for the uh, two and a half inch straight pipes that it has. Uh, it's two and a half inch straight pipes into a three inch uh, stainless steel Magnaflow muffler. Um, it is neatly routed all through the frame. The muffler is sticking right in there and pokes right up. Um, the fuel tank is a custom job because the truck did not come with a fuel tank. Uh, again, that production company that had the truck uh, really did a number on it. They pulled everything out to send it around the country with, as a promote on a promotional tour. So this truck was in malls like Mall of America and things like that, I guess, um, on display with um, on display with various dinosaurs, T Rexes, and whatnot. Um, and so it had the logos of that of that movie all over it. it said for official use and everything. Um, it sounds it it purrs at idle. Um, but it sounds really good under load. It doesn't drone, um, and with the all new seals and everything, it seals up really well. It gives you a nice quiet ride inside. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. This is uh, my 91 Land Cruiser.